So it started with the detailed analysis and the statistics, but during the time we noticed, okay, statistics is not that important because in example, someone had like 20 lost balls in the game and then said, okay, he is a disaster player, but you need to check the video why that happened. Maybe he didn't have the other teammate to, to pass the ball. Maybe he was always uh, guarded with two players. Maybe he was always trying to make some risky passes to create the goal chance because coach told him, okay, when you receive the ball, always push it forward, always push it forward and try to make goal chance or uh, assist to, uh, I don't know, to, to your uh, teammate. So statistics is fine, you need to check it definitely, but video analysis is important, especially also for the youth and for the younger, because when you tell them, okay, you were not uh, having the correct body standing, so you are not uh, checking where are your teammates before you receive the ball, that doesn't make sense if you tell it to, to the under 15 uh, player, but if you show him, okay, so here you see you received the ball, you didn't check where your teammates were. So video analysis is very important and that's the reason why we decided to make the video analysis tool. And also we noticed that uh, with talks with the coaches, they said, okay, it's very complex solutions. We don't know to use it. It's very expensive. And that was one of the reasons why coaches didn't use it and, and uh, make it. Uh, so we decided, okay, we need to create some simple tool uh, for the video analysis, but also graphics is very important because we were working with the televisions. And uh, so in, in Croatia, I'm proud of that and some in, the, in the region, uh, we are, were like the first company which brought the video analysis on the television and the feedback from the viewers, from the, from the public was great. They said, okay, this is amazing. It's much easier and understandable. So we said, okay, if it is much easier to, to anyone to understand what was uh, the mistake, what the player shall do, the same shall be for the players. You need to draw him, tell him where he shall go and what he shall uh, fix. So we said, okay, and also beside tagging part, drawings is very important. The VAR Show. The one place for your weekly football update. Hello, a very warm welcome to the VR show, the show which talks about always major football leagues in detail. Today, we are going to conduct him with interviews and we have the CEO of Once Football, Mr. Dalibor Sivak. So, without wasting much time, I would like to first thank Dalibor for coming on the show. Thank you and welcome to the show. And I would like to begin by asking you, how are you and what are you doing these days? Oh, hi. So, I'm fine. I'm great, in a matter of fact. So, uh, that's very important that we are all healthy and, and uh, that's all fine regarding me and my family because of this uh, situation uh, which is happening worldwide because of the COVID and, and pandemic. So at the moment, yeah, we are very busy regarding the onset development, uh, new features, and we are working on the new redesign and uh, a lot of new things. So yeah, very busy days, uh, very good days because we see continuous development of the software. We see a lot of great feedback from the users, which give us the power to keep pushing more, to keep working more and keep working on the software to make it as best as possible. So, you know, like, uh, that's amazing. And you know, like, I wanted to ask you, like, many of our you, uh, listeners do not, maybe are not aware of uh, one say football, you know, like analysis. Could you please share some insight as to what it is for them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so our idea is uh, to create the best tool for the video analysis with the great graphics like, like uh, on the television, but also we want to make it uh, available to the majority of coaches, not only to the elite one. So at the moment, you know, you have only coaches uh, who are doing the video analysis on high level teams and uh, in, in the teams who had the money, uh, but Video analysis is important to make the improvements 
to make, correct the mistakes, to move forward. And that is the reason uh, why our solutions are, you could say, quite affordable, but better words maybe will be that we pro provide best value uh, for the money because uh, you have a great tool for the video analysis, tagging uh, with the hotkeys, life analysis and everything like the competition has, but also we have combined inside the great graphics uh, on, of the drawings on the video and you can export also the video with the drawings. So yeah, it, it is a great tool and uh, our users are very happy because of the simplicity of the application, but also how it is powerful because of all these features and uh, and uh, especially with the drawings part. Of course, and you like, uh, I wanted to ask you like, how did you all come up? How did the company get formed? Yeah, so the company was founded by an ex-professional football player. So it started with the detailed analysis and the statistics. But during the time we noticed, okay, statistics is not that important because in example, someone had like 20 lost balls in the game and then said, okay, he is a disaster player, but you need to check the video why that happened. Maybe he didn't have the other teammate to, to pass the ball. Maybe he was always uh, guarded with two players. Maybe he was always trying to make some risky passes to create the goal chance because coach told him, okay, when you receive the ball, always push it forward, always push it forward and try to make goal chance or uh, assist to, uh, I don't know, to, to your uh, teammate. So statistics is fine. You need to check it definitely, but video analysis is important, especially also for the youth and for the younger, because when you tell them, okay, you were not uh, having the correct body standing, so you are not uh, checking where are your teammates before you receive the ball. That doesn't make sense if you tell it to, to the under 15 uh, player, but if you show him, okay, so here you see you received the ball, you didn't check where your teammates were. So video analysis is very important and that's the reason why we decided to make the video analysis tool. And also we noticed that uh, with talks with the coaches, they said, okay, it's very complex solutions. We don't know to use it. It's very expensive. And that was one of the reasons why coaches didn't use it and, and uh, make it. Uh, so we decided, okay, we need to create some simple tool uh, for the video analysis, but also graphics is very important because we were working with the televisions. And uh, so in, in Croatia, I'm proud of that and some in the, in the region. Uh, we are, were like the first company which brought the video analysis on the television and the feedback from the viewers, from the, from the public was great. They said, okay, this is amazing. It's much easier and understandable. So we said, okay, if it is much easier to, to anyone to understand what was uh, the mistake, what the player shall do, the same shall be for the players. You need to draw him, tell him where he shall go and what he shall uh, fix. So we said, okay, and also beside tagging part, drawings is very important. Of course, and uh, I wanted to ask, like, do you all cater only to football or do you all do other sports also? So, good question. Uh, on the beginning, our focus was only football, but now we are changing it and for the other sports also, because uh, <clears throat> it can be used for the other sports because video is video. And just, yeah, in, in the last two weeks, we get a lot of, uh, we could say, feedback from the coaches from, uh, from the basketball and from the handball. Uh, so, yeah, we, we, we will now change also communication and everything and try to get more coaches and present it to the, also to the other sports because it is a great tool also uh, can be used for the, also for the rugby and uh, for the American football. Uh, and honest, any other sports where you need to do video analysis. So yeah, it is uh, on the beginning was for the football, but now we will change it for the other sports. And also we will change the names to have it like on one sport um, and uh, of the of the, the our branding. So we will change also that. 
and of course like you know like you have a lot of different competitors you know to you like you have like someone like longo match and maybe various others that's the only one i knew actually <laughs> and so i said okay. that so you know like uh, how how difficult is it for you or how easy it, it, is it for you to survive in the market yeah so on the beginning uh, 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 on the beginning was yeah it was quite hard to convince something someone okay we are when when you uh, make the comparison with the competition so we show them like the table and we said okay here you have the price we are more affordable you have life analysis yes we have export of animated gra- drawings others don't have it or the the cost is like several thousand euros per year we have free the drawing elements we have hotkeys we have this we have this is it okay this is not possible so it's simply too affordable how how is that and they said okay we have free trial try it see it use it for two weeks then decide and they said okay we will try it we will see and we said okay it's really great software but what's the catch what's the catch there we need to pay in app purchases extra payments what is because other software also you need to play pay like uh numbers of videos uh, analyzed or games or you have limitations of storage like five gigabytes or you have the numbers of hours like in in a huddle you have like 100 hours so that is only 50 games so what's that for the club 50 games is nothing if you analyze also the competition uh so it is very big uh problem on on, on the beginning was to explain how why we are going into that area and why coaches uh, shall decide for our solution and not for the competition which was already established and we said okay you have free trial try it if you want to try it again okay try it again and yeah and step by step time by time they said okay it's really cool software i will pro- i will make the recommendation and in most cases word of mouth is doing that so they're just telling, okay, it's a good software, it's a good software, and you get just this customer user base is, is growing and growing, uh, especially because of uh, word of the mouth. Because when you do the comparison with the competition, I guarantee you it's an uh, amazing tool, and simply some of the coaches don't believe us. They said, why? What's the catch? What I need to pay extra? Because... Uh, in, in most cases, you need to pay for the updates, you need to pay for something, you need to pay in app purchases, you need to pay for the drawing features. They said, okay, try it. If you like it, you buy it. If not, okay, let's move forward. Please provide us the feedback, how we can improve it, and that's it. So for us, it's always important if someone don't, don't decide for us to provide us the feedback so we can be as better as possible. That is, yeah, we, that, yeah thanks for all those coaches who, who provided us feedback and told us, okay, I would like to have these, if it is possible, these, because feedback help us to make the, the, the best tool for the video analysis and uh, to make it uh, better and better uh, from day to day and be better from the competition. So that is uh, the, the, the reason uh, how we have, we could say, managed to get uh, the user base and the customers among all these companies which were founded like 10 years ago uh, and have already some base uh, of, of the users and how we have managed to take over uh, the users from them. So uh, feedback, continuous work on, on the software and also great functionalities and the price. Of course, I wanted to ask you, like, you know, like you said, like how you were able to, you know, like capture a market which probably was uh, being catered by the other brands. How, what is the amount of users that are using your software right now? Uh, amount of the users. So we have sold more than like 1000 licenses, something like that. So quite big numbers. We have uh, big numbers of uh, trial, ver- uh, of trial coaches who, who enter into the trial version. Uh, mode and then they provide us also the feedback when they will get the new uh, job or uh, start working in a club where the video analysis will be needed that uh, they will get uh, they will buy the application so we are very happy with the user base the number of the users and we want to make it even bigger and bigger and bigger 
uh, and uh, that will be possible when we also go for the other sports because now at the moment 90% is from the football uh, sports so we have also other sports that that we can cover so to make it even bigger and also we need to find the partners for the other markets to get more uh, we could say local based partners who will help us to promote the product locally of course and i wanted to ask you like you said like how you have many uh, coaches who use it for trial and when they say when they would get into a club or, or next job they would probably you know recommend your thing uh -huh. i'm one of them. i've used your trial version how often do you see the trial being converted into someone who buys the product like 10% is quite high number very high number and is it very uh, uh, very common with you all sorry it is very do people really buy or they just use a trial yes yeah 10% yeah. is like conversion rate so it's very great number and we just need to get the leads inside so for us it's important to go to the other sports like you mentioned because conversion rate is great so when they try it see the simplicity when they see uh, how it is easy to use and also the drawings uh, then then in most cases like i said uh, one of them will buy it definitely uh, so that is the experience and we only need to build up this uh, database of the trial versions uh, because uh, yeah when someone sees like I mentioned before, when someone do the comparison with the competition, see the price, in most cases they said, okay, this is some, some hoax or something, but it's not good. So we said, okay, try it, try it, try it, then you see. So when they see, when they try it, when in most cases, if they, they can contact us for the uh, walkthrough that we explain them all the features and said, okay, it's really great tool and simple to use. Yeah, I, I will buy it. So for us, it's important that when user install it, he can contact us. We have support in French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, uh, German, English language, uh, Croatian, Bosnian. So we have we are covering all these languages. Uh, also, the Arabic uh, countries we have a partner there. So if someone needs some support locally because of the language barrier, yeah, we can help you. We can uh, show you all the features. We can walk. Uh, on on, on uh, the analysis, explain you everything because you will not buy it if you don't understand it or try it or don't uh, see it correctly. So for us, also support is very uh, important, and that is why the of the reason I think is that we have so so high conversion rate. Of course, and you said like ten percent is uh, the the very high conversion rate that you have. What is your goal going forward as a team? So for us, it's important to have like to keep that number of the conversion rate. But so for us, we have now the several milestones regarding what we need to do. We need to uh, to keep that conversion rate. And regarding the milestones, we have several milestones now: redesign of the application, a new website, uh, complete uh, marketing activities change, and development uh, next year to have the Mac version. Of course, so, so right now, do you have only the Windows one? Yes, at the moment, it's only the Windows. For the Mac, you can use it if you install the Windows on it via Bootcamp or the Parallels. But for the future, we want to, we will have the Mac version. We started working on it and probably by the end of the year, we will have the first version, which is not uh, yeah, fully functional with all the features. It will grow in the phases. So I think that complete uh, version we will have next year. Of course, I wanted to ask you like uh, this very, um, it might be a very sh uh, weird and a stupid question. How important is analysis for any game? Especially for analysis. Yeah, video uh, analysis. If you don't prepare, be ready to fail. So you have prepared for the fail that I mean, so if you don't, yeah, if you don't prepare for the game, you are prepared for the fail. So something is like like that sentence which is uh, among uh, the coaches and the uh, football so uh, if you don't like for e for everything in 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 uh, any aspect of the life if you don't check all the details and you didn't give yourself completely in it and prepare yeah be ready that you will lose the game so because you did you maybe that small uh, thing like 
check how the throwing is made, check how the transition is made, can completely change uh, the game or check how the team is making free kicks and be ready if they have some patterns or something. So yeah, it's very important to be uh, prepared and uh, the ready, analyze the opponent, analyze your game, analyze your players, provide them feedback and improve. Of course, and you said like how you are one of, the, not one, you were the front runner in the in in bringing analysis to TV in Croatia at least. So, mm -hmm. are, which all are the teams that you're tied up with, or who, who use your software? So, regarding the teams, we have. I mean, uh, I would to say definitely uh, here, like okay, we have also uh, the youth department from the. Eintracht Frankfurt, so uh, that's Bundesliga. Carlos Ruhe, also from Bundesliga. Uh, then we have here like coaches in the Dynamo, coaches from the clubs from the Slovenia. But uh, an example, one of uh, great cooperation is with the Bosnian Football Federation, that we provide a tool for all coaches uh, who are doing the licensing and uh, who are doing the analysis in 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 our software. So they need to do when getting the coaching license, all analysis of the games, analysis of the training sessions, uh, analysis of uh, the future opponent, and then they need to prepare the tactics and the trainings for it. So that is one of the cooperation that we are very proud of it. And we also have uh, so similar cooperation with several uh, such institutions in in the world like and also in the Greece and in the Portugal and in the Germany and in the Russia and so yeah such we could say also uh, academies online uh, learning uh, academies are very important because uh, they provide some new view uh, for the coaches and to learn new things so we have a lot of uh, clients uh, but uh, yeah for us it's more most important that we provide a tool for the coaches that they can uh, learn and go to the analysis world of course I like I wanted to ask you like if suppose a club wants to tie up with you how, how do they do it yeah so we have uh, regarding the tie up you mean to, to buy the software and to yeah. use it yeah so yeah. we have several ways in example uh, one is that directly contact us and tell us okay please send us the proposal they make payment to us or they can just go to the website and download the application free trial pay with the credit card and don't need to have anything with us that is the majority of uh, our users i prefer honestly to have this contact with them to tell them okay do you need any help we have there uh, we, we 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 provide the support yeah like i said on the all this language, French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, and other languages. So that that's perfect. But uh, for us, it's very important that we get in touch with them, ask them if all okay, do you need any help? Uh, even if they just pay and buy with the credit card. So what is in most recent time, very, very often. No, also like I wanted to ask you, suppose uh, I'm from Nepal. So suppose the uh, Nepal Football Association wants to tie up with you in terms of like maybe the like how you said like the licensing of the referee uh, I mean the coaches you have ties up with many uh, associations so you have the they have to pass your whatever exam that you said so how do how does that happen how do you mean how regarding I mean, this? I mean like are you open to all those uh, uh, you know like uh, partnerships or something yeah so we are we have uh, like we are looking for the partners for the other markets who can recommend, recommend our software for uh, for the other uh, coaches and the other markets, especially in the markets that we don't have anyone or we don't know uh, the language because yeah, the language barrier is quite high. So anyone, all the people don't know the English very well. So it's much easier to communicate in the local language, especially regarding also with the time zone and if they need any support that they have someone to, to contact if they need to have problem and all credit card is not accepting or something. So it's very important for us to have the partners and we are constantly looking, looking for the partners for the other market. Of course, and I wanted to ask you, like, you know, like, do you think like with more 
common public you know like getting into football analysis analysis especially via you know like not only coaches like you have in youtube like you have various different uh, uh, common uh, you know like football enthusiasts going and analyzing games do you think that has created a bigger room for you to target how do you mean regarding that coaches no like you have those uh, people going on youtube and making the analysis using all this software mm-hmm. So before, mm-hmm. if 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 that was not there, then probably you would have lesser people to target. But now you have even those people to target, right? I mean, regarding yeah, the individual uh, analysts uh, who have the YouTube channels or uh, LinkedIn or Vimeo, they're important for us because with us they can very easily and fast create the analysis. And uh, for those people, uh, it's great because. Uh, you know they, they they have some passion passion is football and analysis uh this is the way how they can express themselves and for them uh, our tool is amazing because very easily they create <clears throat> analysis and the graphics and for us uh, more and more such people are more than welcome who use the software uh because uh it's yeah, when I'm talking with the coaches and so on, they say, Let's, okay, one thing is to talk generally with the coaches and the members of the staff. It's also important to check some who is not analysis, who is not in, 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 uh, yeah, in that area, who is not from my, uh, we could say, uh, circle of the friends, uh, because they have some other view on the game, some other view on the analysis, some other view what was good, what was wrong. So it's always good to check uh, such analysis and uh, I will recommend more and more people to uh, do such analysis, especially for the coaches and for people who want to in the future to do that in the club, because that's a great way to present themselves, to present their quality and someone from the club can mention that and take them as uh, the, the member of the staff. Of course, and I, I wanted to ask you like, uh the the coronavirus pandemic has caused a problem to everyone who's working how much has it affected you all yeah so regarding the corona definitely it uh, affected us especially in the beginning because you know you have the football uh, who is playing like every day you have other sports everything is great fantastic we have uh, then back then the marketing strategies we have all the plans what we need to do we have like uh, planned some trips uh, to the other countries and then you have corona everything closed everything stopped stopped you have the lockdown you cannot go anywhere you don't have um, anything you know it just stopped so uh, it was completely yeah it was completely surprised for us it was yeah we said okay what 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 we need to do now what 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 now and then we said, okay, let's do the things what we have on the task list, to-do list, that we never had the time to do. So from the other, uh, from the other view, it was uh, good for us because we had now time uh, to make uh, all these tasks what we have in the in the past, which were always uh, putting aside and and. Uh, always have have some other higher priorities and also we started with the certification of the coaches that we teach them how to work in the software teach them uh, how to prepare the analysis and uh, how to use the software so just to understand we don't teach them the coaching styles styles coaching things tactical techniques but here we just go with them through the uh, through the uh, on the application that when they go to a club, someone asks them, prepare me video analysis. And they said, okay, no problem. And he can download our tool. We can provide them again, pre-trial. He can do it, give it to the coach. Because in most cases, uh, coaches didn't have any experience with that. They don't know how to do it. And it's uh, it was a great tool, uh, great um, uh, time to do that. And we have done like, 200 uh, certification, uh, uh, finished certification courses. And uh, we have like, I don't know, 600 in total who were interested. 
and some of them started but didn't have time to finish or didn't uh, apply manage to 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 finish it but uh, it was really great uh, experience to talk with all that people to also see the feedback from them and at the end they provide us the feedback how to improve it and and what to do with the software so it it was yeah that time was very productive for us also beside the corona and without uh, the football of course like you know i wanted to ask you like you are running such a big company right now you know like 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 you said the numbers are huge how big is the team that you are working with yeah so regarding uh, the team we are we could say we are the small company uh because uh we have uh, like a uh, software development uh, team who is outsourced uh we have like the marketing uh, guy we have the analyst guy and me who is handling uh we could say entire the company and then we have like uh, the support for other uh, languages and from the outside we have the partners for us the partners are very important uh who who do handle all these uh, languages so core team is small but we have outside the team who is handling all these parts regarding uh, the support opening the markets uh providing uh, the f- yeah the support the feedback for everything and uh i i, I would like to keep the the team smaller as possible because then it's all clear we all know the task we all know uh what needs to be done who is doing what uh, how to do it so that that's very important uh and very simple especially now regarding also the companies who had like the huddle with 1000 people and you don't have any uh support or anything then you have a problem with the budget with the cash flow and everything so for us yeah we didn't have any problems regarding that because we don't uh, we are in croatia uh regarding uh, the cost of developments and everything is quite smaller than in the USA uh, so it's really great uh, it's really great that we are located here it's very nice country and we have very big football tradition and great coaches we could say here and the players beside that we are only 4 million uh people country so uh, we are used to work in the smaller we could say environment and for us uh, it's very important that uh, every everyone is doing their tasks then the smil- the team can be smaller and to be up to the 10 people of course and you know, like i'll ask you more uh, personal questions and which team do you support in football which team <laughs> i cannot tell that because we have clients from all we could say all the majority clubs here so i don't want to be uh yeah that they said okay i don't want to buy it he's supporting that team so i don't uh, yeah i cannot i i would prefer not to express myself okay which team do you support in england in the england uh i will say any club where bilic is <laughs> uh, slaven bilic uh is the coach so he is a great coach uh, and i would i'm 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 very glad because besides he was the croatian national team coach he was the coach at uh at uh, uh the turkey and also some uh, arabic uh, countries and now he is the coach at west, west bromwich albion who is uh, got promoted to the premier league this year so yeah that that's my team uh, at the moment I mean uh, because yeah pr- Premier League I I remember in during the uh high school uh for me was yeah the Manchester United but now uh yeah it is uh, because of Croatian coach is uh Slavin Bilic Of course and you like on that note uh, Dalibor thank you so much for talking to me and I think that we wrap it up now we can continue but I'll uh, I think we'll wrap it up now and uh Thank you once again for coming and I we, I hope that you'll grow as a company and maybe you'll expand worldwide and become a bigger player in the market and till then take care stay safe bye Yeah thank you for the invitation and uh, hope we will be 
uh, in the touch in the in the future in in a year or two when we will have some other news and uh, some big we could say uh, changes will happen in the company regarding the products and the clients hopefully thank you so much thank you see you bye bye player wise it would have to be steven gerrard just because again before before i became a, a journalist you know he was he was someone i just admired massively in terms of the absolute complete footballer i think if you were trying to like make a footballer in a factory he would it would be steven gerrard someone who you know he, i think jb carragher summed it up best once when he said you know steven gerrard's biggest strength is he doesn't have any weaknesses ah the stadium uh, I, I don't see really uh, need to do that, mainly um, such a, a big spending. But it's true that it would be a, a fantastic stadium. That's not bad, but uh, you have to be careful. And mainly at this moment uh, when we are going to face a very difficult time.